gaze at the stick. From who's got it better than us to brick by brick. It's always the 49ers way from off season to game day. Yeah, we talk back. It's the 49ers cut back. It's 49ers Cutback Podcast time. Welcome to the news update show. Uh, not a lot of news, but some news coming out of San Francisco, especially on the injury front. We're going to get into all that in this episode. So first, it starts out with Charles Aminahue. Charles Aminahue uh, had an oblique strain. He's going to be listed as day-to-day. Kyle Shanahan does not expect him to miss the game on Sunday. However, however he's going to be monitored through practice. We'll see how much practice he's able to do this week as the 49ers continue to go to their traditional practice schedule. There'll be no practice on Tuesday, practices Wednesday, Thursday, walkthroughs on Friday, fly out to Philadelphia, day off on Saturday as far as media availability and everything, and then they will play against the Philadelphia Eagles in the NFC Championship game at 12 p.m. Pacific time on Sunday. So Aminahue came back in that game. That's good news. It appears the 49ers are going to not miss out on Charles Aminahue, that he's going to be there to help San Francisco play, and they're going to need him against the Philadelphia Eagles. Another player that came out of the injury with a little bit of a problem was Christian McCaffrey. It's officially been listed as a calf contusion. Everyone saw him on the sidelines wearing you know the, the brace around his calf. He was doing some stretches along the way too, trying to keep that calf loose. And ready to go. So he suffered the contusion. Kyle Shanahan said we're expecting him to be um, expecting them to all be back. We'll see how it goes through the week with practice and everything. Uh, He was talking about Christian McCaffrey, you know, being back. He expected him to play. Christian McCaffrey said he was good uh, during his presser that he was going to be good and ready to go. So a contusion, not the end of the world. Those things can hurt. Uh, Maybe that limited Christian McCaffrey a little bit in the game last week against Dallas, but he should be okay. With Elijah Mitchell, Elijah Mitchell's been dealing with a groin, um, but he, they don't believe it's going to keep him out. He's also listed as day-to-day. So the 49ers come out with three injuries from the game against the Dallas Cowboys. Charles Aminhew with the oblique, Christian McCaffrey with a calf contusion, Elijah Mitchell with the groin. But all three guys appear to be able to play on Sunday in the game against the Eagles. They're all day-to-day, which means very likely to play, and that's good news For the 49ers, they can't afford to lose anyone right now. You have to be all hands on deck, and the 49ers will be. Now, Kyle Shanahan was asked about Jimmy Garoppolo and his availability, and he said Jimmy Garoppolo is going to have an x-ray on Tuesday to evaluate how his foot has been going and healing. Uh, He said it is very unlikely. He thinks it's the same situation as last week. Unlikely that Jimmy will be out there and able to help the team on Sunday in the backup role or whatever role in which the 49ers wish to put him in. So uh, Jimmy G looks like he's not quite there yet, which means Josh Johnson will still back up Brock Purdy for the NFC Championship game on Sunday. So the last part is Ross Dwelly. Uh, Ross Dwelly was playing in the game uh, on Sunday instead of Tyler Croft, and that hasn't been the norm. Uh, What's been going on is Tyler Croft has been the guy that has been starting most of these football games. Uh, but Dwelly was playing, and they asked Kyle Shanahan why, and he said he equated it to special teams. They just felt it was good for Dwelly that he helped their team a lot more as far as on special teams compared to what Croft was. Uh, this is an exact quote. Just a lot of things that go into it, special teams, and just the type of game we thought it was going to be and where to use our guys the most. So that's about as much as I can get into it. So that is why Ross Dwelly played over Tyler Croft according to Kyle Shanahan. Uh, So that's good. And as far as the media schedule goes, like I said earlier, it's a normal media week. Uh, It'll be a Tuesday off day, Wednesday practice. Uh, Kyle Shanahan will talk to the media on Thursday practice. Then D'Amico Ryans, Chris Furster, and Brock Purdy will talk to the media. And then Friday, we'll have practice walkthroughs. And then Kyle Shanahan will give his final updates as far as availability for the game. Saturday off day, and then kick off at noon on Sunday for the NFC Championship game. So thanks, everyone, for watching this news update. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, 
subscribe to the channel, get more updates just like this one throughout the remainder of the playoffs. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everyone stay safe and remember the right way is always the 49ers way.